Next from her years is Brenda Walsh on Beverly Hills 90210. You can catch her this Tuesday night on CBS in the TV movie Sleeping with the Devil. Please welcome Shannon Daugherty. <laughs> For me? It's Irish chocolates. Yeah? I was just in Ireland, so I know that you like candy and chocolates, so I bought some back for you. That is so sweet of you. <laughs> now Are you, you have to eat them all. An Irish chocolate fan? No, I'm allergic to chocolate. <laughs> that is the saddest thing <laughs> I have ever heard. Are you seriously? Are you trying to say that so you don't eat it? No, I'm violently, like hives all over my body. It's Are you kidding? Really, yeah. I mean, I do it every once in a while, like Twix bars are my favorite. Wanna hear what a bad person I am? When you said I get hives all over, I thought for a moment, wouldn't it be fun if she ate a piece and she got hives during the set? <laughs> and then I thought, that is horrible to think that. That's really awful. It is yeah. awful, but I was just curious to see what form the hives took. It's really awful. It's all, it's like yeah, bumpy it's like and red. Yeah, it's like red welts all over. No kidding. Yeah. My face, my arms. You know what, I'm really allergic to horses. I went really? horseback riding and I got that welts and everything all oh, over. Oh, see, and I love horses. You so do. I'll eat chocolates and you ride horses. All right. <laughs> we'll go we'll out together. It'll be fun. <laughs> now, what were you doing in Ireland? A vacation or working? Vacation. I'm um, exploring my roots, obviously. I'm pretty Irish. You are Irish. So. What's more Irish, Rosie O'Donnell or Sharon Doherty? Uh, I think uh, the O'Dohertys are pretty much scattered everywhere there. Did you have relatives when you went over there? Did you see them? Um, no, I, we have relatives there, but they were really hard to track down. Yeah. So we couldn't do it. We didn't have enough information at the time. We went to like the Heritage Center, and but you know you have to have like documents and right. everything, and we didn't have any of it. Now, did you were you recognized over there? Do they get 90210? They do get 90210, and um, yeah, I was recognized. Actually, the first day that we arrived in Dublin, I decided that we should all be you know get our time schedule correct and you know stay up and finally go to sleep at like 10 or 11. So we're walking back to the hotel and I'm exhausted and I want to go to bed. And I see the hotel, it's like right there in front of me. And my mother goes, oh look, a pub. And she goes running across the street into this pub. And my friend and I and my father are all like following her over. And we walked in and the people sort of moved away from us. Really? And they said, oh, visitors. And I went up to the bar and we ordered, you know, some drinks and Pretty soon they all came over and were incredibly friendly because they recognized me. But what did they mean, visitors? How did visitors, they? Visitors, it was a private party. Oh, so and what they, they meant was the... crashers. Was crashers, exactly. Right. And I guess they say visitors. That's the Irish so... nice way of saying it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, look, they're visiting our party. <laughs> So yeah, but uh, once they recognized me, we were allowed to stay as long as I answered their questions. Yeah, and is it they're like delayed a couple of years, so you're maybe still on there? No, actually, I'm off, but they think that I'm on. I mean, it's really odd. They kept on asking me, you know, you're in England now, and uh, Dylan just went to go live with you, and you two are getting married, and I'm like. You know, I haven't been on the show for like three years. What right. are you talking about? I just kept saying, yes, I enjoy your yes. country. Thanks for watching. You know, I'm a visitor. Um, now, are you very health conscious? Do you, like, in your not eating chocolate, which I'm fixating on, are you, uh, do you also eat, like, healthy foods? No, no, cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. They're my life. I have to have, like, a cheeseburger every single day. How much do I love that? <laughs> I totally thought that you'd be like, you know, no tofu way. burger and oh. carrots only. No, I don't really. eat vegetables. I, I eat potatoes and meat. Give me a high five, Shannon. <laughs> Give me a high five on that. Now, somebody told me you eat zingers. I had no idea what they were. Yes, oh my and God. And I went and got to. Because, no, you did not. Well, I did, and frankly, they frightened me. L what okay, are wait, these? Okay, wait, wait, wait. That one frightens me, too. That is not. This is a zinger, I swear no, it's, to you. No, it's, it's not the authentic original zinger. You mean these are faux zingers? Yes, they are. The box said zingers. This is, you know, when, when they tried to get kids to eat them, so they made them colored. And this actually has coconut, which I'm allergic to as well. So... I don't believe... Can you have an Altoid? Do you have any, uh, any allergy to mint products? Maybe, would you like one? Not that you need it, but I That's just feel bad. Are you trying Nothing to tell I can me? give you, you can eat here on the show. Okay. Damn it, someone get me a cheeseburger. <laughs> They're sort of like Twinkies, though, right? They are. That's the original zinger is exactly like a Twinkie with icing on top, uh -huh. and they are the best thing in the world. All right. Now you're not into the Drake's Devil Dogs ring dings. No, chocolate. Oh, again the chocolate. Again the chocolate. Mm. How My boyfriend have you had like this? devours that kind of stuff. He does. Though. Yeah, I mean yeah. he loves it. He's a New York it. guy. That's why. Exactly. He grew up with them. Yes. Yeah. I remember first time I ever saw you. 
Any guess what it was? <laughs> Try to guess what show. Uh, gee, Little House. That would be it. Oh, you were Jenny, God. were you not? Yes, You I were was. Jenny Wilder on Little House on the Prairie. You do this Melissa me. Gilbert, I believe, was your teacher at that time, was she not? No, uh, Melissa was my adopted mother. I thought she was your teacher. No, she was my aunt. My father died. Something tragic was always happening to me on that show. And, and, and everyone else. Remember and somebody everybody went blind? Else. Yeah. The dog drowned in the river? Right. Like one time I lost my speech and yeah. I had to have Ralph Bellamy play this old doctor and he had to like cure